Hello to all of our past and present Artful Afternoon participants, and warm welcome to folks joining us to, for the first time. Welcome to our virtual session of Artful Afternoon, a dementia-friendly art program in partnership with the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia. I've been a facilitator with this program for the past three years, and I'm a regular instructor with the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia's Art Education Department. Today, I'm going to walk us through an exhibition of Jacques Hurtubise's Prints from the Collection, featuring 30 prints spanning 40 years of his practice from the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia's permanent collection. Comprised of 30 prints, this exhibition provides a definitive overview of this key figure in abstract arts history and a fresh look at the definition of abstraction through print. Jacques Hurtubise he was born in Montreal in 1939. In 1956, at the age of 17, he attended the École des Beaux-Arts de Montréal, graduating in 1960. He received the prestigious Mac Beckman Scholarship to study in New York from 1960 to 1961. The work he produced during his time in New York was included in his first solo exhibition at the Montreal Museum of Fine Art in 1961, when he was just 21 years old. When he returned in 1961, he married Monique Colangelo, a former École des Beaux-Arts schoolmate. They had a daughter named Nathalie in 1962. Urtubise created paintings and screen prints over the next several decades and had numerous exhibitions of his art. In 1980, Urtubis' daughter died in a tragic car accident. This prompted Jacques and Monique to leave Quebec in their camper van, which had a small art studio and drive around North America. In 1983, they finally settled in Marjorie Harbour, Cape Breton, where Jacques continued to work until his death in 2014 at the age of 75. Marjorie Harbour became their home base. While the literal imagery of Cape Breton does not feature in Hujabiz's work, the colors and fierce passion of the place resonate in his palette and brushwork. The term serigraph refers to prints made with a screen, blocking compound and ink. The artist designs an image, draws or transfers it to the screen and blocks out various shapes or forms with the compound. These areas resist ink being passed through the screen and the ink is forced through the screen using a squeegee onto paper or other material. New areas of the image are then blocked out if other colors are desired. This is also known as silkscreen printing. Socially minded artists began using the silkscreen method to produce prints of their work in the 20th century because it enabled them to make their artwork easier to access and more affordable. Urtubise also had a reputation as a remarkable colorist and his love of fluorescent and saturated colors and contrast are evidenced in his prints. The color pink appears frequently, from salmon and pastel hues to magenta, throughout his career. Above all else, Jacques Hurtubise's work is about color. Jacques Hurtubise was best known as a Quebec abstract painter and printmaker, from the generation following that of the Plasticien, a Canadian non-figurative painting movement from 1955 to 1962. It was, however, his unique sensitivity as a printmaker that informed his work and set him apart. Abstract art is modern art which does not represent images of our everyday world. It has color, lines, and shapes, but they are not intended to represent objects or living things. Often, 
Artists are influenced by ideas and philosophies, or an expression of a feeling or mood. Remember that there is no wrong way to interpret this work. He says, for me, painting is the expression of an individual. I just want to be me. Yotabiz's controlled brushstrokes have often been compared to those of pop artist Roy Lichtenstein. They both created works of art that reflect the kind of gesture that of the action painter. Yotabiz's painstaking and detail-oriented printmaking process was also reflective of his controlled approach. Doodle-like effects were reined in by a grid-like design. Here, we trace Hurtubiz's career from his early graphic abstract paintings of the 1960s and 1970s through his cutouts, line work, mass, as well as the stencil work of his blackout period. With a practice spanning over 50 years, he has pushed the definition of hard edge abstraction through the use of painterly brushstrokes and a printmaker sensitivity for repeated, controlled pattern, creating a language of his own. As a result of his time spent abroad, his paintings encompass a range of influences from abstract expressionism to Chinese ceremonial mass. Working through notions of color and form, the artist's paintings are about gesture, mark making, and strategies to maintain spontaneity. He says, I am very instinctive. Everything is in my head, and in my head it is very abstract. It doesn't come out in explanation. It doesn't come out in words. It comes out in paint. It's visual, instinctive and visual. I look at myself through my painting. While he identified as an instinctive artist, his work was nonetheless carefully created while giving the impression of dynamic, random, or gestural strokes, splashes, and blots. Nova Scotia was important to Jacques Hurtubis. He gifted many of his works to the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia that he specifically wanted to share with his fellow Nova Scotians. <laughs>